everyone, how's it going? In case you're just joining us, my name is Atusa, I'm a third year medical student and I'm making a video every day in the month of November. Now today's video is going to be a relatively short and straightforward video. The reason why I'm making this video is that I often get questions from you guys asking me how do you do well in writing essays? How do you get firsts? How do you score highly? Now for anybody who isn't familiar with my background, I studied biomedical science as my first degree and I'm currently studying medicine as a graduate degree. And especially when I was studying biomedical science, there was a lot of assignments and a lot of essay writing that was part of the course. Less so in medicine, but we still do have to do a number of assignments that way as well. So I've certainly written my fair share of essays. And the thing that has consistently helped me in getting a first and getting high marks, and you're going to be shocked when you hear this, because it's very simple and straightforward, but a lot of people don't realise that it is an option. Essentially, the way that I managed to get a first in the majority of the assignments and the essays was literally to send it in to my supervisor before the deadline and ask for feedback. Guys, you would be surprised at how willing a lot of your teachers and a lot of your lecturers are to give you the extra feedback if you have shown the initiative to do the assignment, complete it maybe a week before the deadline, contact your supervisor, contact your lecturer, ask if you can have half an hour of their time for them to give you a bit of feedback and that way you have literally got direct feedback on exactly the areas that you need to improve. That way you can make the changes and then once you submit your piece of work it is exactly to your supervisors or to your lecturers liking because they have been the ones who have given you the advice on how to progress with it. I think something that I see in a lot of students, especially once they have already started university, is when they ask for how do I write a good essay, how do I get a first, they almost lack that confidence in themselves in that they think that there is a specific formula that they need to follow or that their own abilities aren't good enough. Chances are if you have already gotten yourself onto one of these university courses, you'll be familiar with the standard structures of writing an essay. There are plenty of videos here on YouTube on the basics of writing an essay. For example, how to set it out, how to come up with the structure. So I'm not going to necessarily go into that area. But I just wanted to share with you this little, simple, tiny thing that you can do because I think a lot of people just don't realise that it is an option to them. Obviously what it will require from you as the student is to be a little bit more on top of things, to get things done quicker and leave yourself that extra bit of time to get in touch with somebody to have a look at th things for you. But assuming you've done that and your teacher has had a chance to give you feedback, I think it would be a real shame not to at least give that a go instead of leaving the essay until the very last minute and then hoping that you can power through. But I mean, we've all been there, I get it. But I remember for me personally, there was this one instance where we had to write an essay about, I want to say genetics, I think that's what it was. This was in my third year of biomedical science. And looking back, I don't even think I was necessarily struggling with the essay. I just remember thinking, genetics isn't really my strong suit. I would really like to get feedback and make sure that I'm on track. And that was, I think, the first time that I contacted the supervisor. And this is what I'm saying to you. So I did this in my third year. Imagine if I had started doing this in my first and second year, how much more feedback I would have gotten. But anyway, so I did this the first time in my third year. I contacted a lecturer who was particularly approachable and friendly and kind of just said, I've written my essay, but is it okay if you give me a bit of feedback? I understand if you're busy or that, you know, you can't give feedback early. And to my surprise, he literally just said, come to my office at lunchtime, we can sit and go through it together. And that's exactly what we did. I printed off my piece of work. We sat down, we literally went through the thing together. I think it was maybe about two pages long. He crossed things off, he highlighted things. Bear in mind, this person was just brilliant as a teacher and a lecturer anyway, um, but I think most other people that you do send this to, or that you do send a piece of work to, they may still give you written feedback via email, for example. Anyway, um, we went through this piece of work together and I went and I altered it and I added all of the extra things and kind of refined it. And I think that was probably the essay that I scored the highest in, certainly in that module and definitely in third year. So it's kind of a simple thing, but if you haven't done this already or you haven't thought to at least give it a go, I would highly, highly recommend it. Worst case scenario, 
your lecturer or your teacher might just say, I'm sorry I'm unable to do this, but at least you've done your part and tried. So I hope this little tidbit has been useful for you. If you have any other questions or any other video ideas that you'd like to share, leave them below. But I will leave it there and I will see you in tomorrow's video.